Hello friends, this is Rahul Magani here is the Chief Executive Officer of Tragedy Consulting LLP and this time we are moving one level further wherein we are uh, we are going to talk about valuation of collateral discounting and here we are going to take an example of a single currency. We are taking all the big names here which is Microsoft, Google, Cognizant, Apple, Dell, HP, HTC, Tesla and lot others. If you are talking from these big names, we are very well aware that they have an exposure in almost every currency. They have an exposure in GBP, Euro, Swiss franc, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar and they you just tell that they have an exposure in almost every currency. Now the point is their treasury function is very vast. They are not like an Indian companies which are conservative in the treasury. So their treasury company is very vast and they have an exposure in almost all kinds of derivative instruments like forward, option, swaps, interest rate swap, callers, swaptions, option payoffs and all kinds of swaps they have. But the point is the collateral which they submitted as of now, the collateral which they submitted as of now, this collateral is not only a dollar collateral, this is this this covers the securities also. Like if an example, they have securities, dollar cash, treasury securities, treasury security stands at USD, United States Treasury, MTN, LT medium term notes, LTN long term notes. Treasury bonds, mortgage bank security, asset bank securities, corporate debt, LIBOR securities and overnight index swap security. All these securities will regularly need to need to be monitored by the bank and regularly need to be valued also which is an issue which is going on because a lot of regulatory things which is coming up. In this let us take you have a margin call, CSA margin call, you have a variation call and you, have, you can have a default call also. Of course, in case of a big corporate, the probability of having a default call is very limited. But in case, but since we, we know that the currency is getting very volatile, so we cannot ignore the possibility of that, right? So we, we, we could have a margin call, we could have a variation call, we could have a default call also. You need, there are a lot of valuation issues that would come up while valuing this security. Number one valuation issue which which would become is a single curve valuation or the multi curve valuation. Example, I can tell you so many curves. You have LIBOR as one curve, you have Euribor another curve, you have overnight index swap as another curve, you have STIR as another curve, you have Sonia which is telling overnight index average which is another, which is another curve. We have a lot of implied curves on currency on which curve the valuation would be happening. If we are signing 10 different CSAs, credit support next with 10 different banks and all the 10 different banks, assuming we are signing a single currency which is dollar and all the 10 different banks are having 10 different valuation curves, example dollar, treasury securities, medium term notes, treasury bonds, mortgage bank, asset bank, corporate debt and others. In that sense, what is going to be happen? What would be the valuation? what would be the margin call, what would be the variation call and what would be the default call. The issues will further get further aggregate in case of a security valuation because cash is very easy to manage. In case of a security valuation it will aggregate because of a Z spread which is on uh, which is option adjusted spread, OIS discounting and LIBOR discounting. We very well understand that there are three kind of swap spreads. One is a normal swap spread which is the difference between two yields. One is a Z spread which you would be adding to make sure that uh, which you would be adding to make sure that a treasury say the valuation of a treasury security would be equal to valuation of a non-treasury security. An option adjusted spread is keeping an impact of the option adjustment which is nothing but put and call. Sometimes it could be ranged also. In case of a security which is treasury securities, medium term notes, mortgage bank securities, uh, asset bank securities, corporate debts, LIBOR and OIS discounting, these issues will certainly come. Swap spread issue would, would certainly become. Another issue that would be coming, can we do the cross valuation in a single, single currency CSA? Example, we have a loan which is priced in LIBOR and we are taking an overnight index swap on that. Now, the, what is overnight index swap which is hedging of a local currency asset or liability in local currency and in local books. The issue would be coming in this dollar LIBOR securities can we discounting using OIS because actually it is a, it is a LIBOR security but you are taking an OIS on that because you believe that the dollar LIBOR would move up so I would I am going to take this hedging position in the OIS and that is a very relevant question for an American investor who is there in the market. 
such kind of issues will continue to aggregate when we have one year OIS dollar curve is roughly 2.4 percent right and one year LIBOR is between 1.75 percent to 1.88 percent which keeps moving in this range are you going with the OIS valuation or you are going with the LIBOR valuation these are the questions which the portfolio managers needs to answer very early and especially when FRTP which is fundamental view of the trading book which would come this is going to impact at least collateral discounting from everything which is uh, collateral discounting from the perspective of single curve multi curve single currency and multi currency this video would also would like to highlight another issue which is which is an issue in collateral discounting is this which is exotic versus structured now the issue is that to value a curve to value a derivative or a curve you know to value a derivative or a security this is relatively very easy but the point is very simple when we are going to value exotics is it that so easy when, when we are going to value exotics and structured is it that so easy the answer is not and this is what we seriously need to check this is what the few issues that banks have to, are facing when we are going to do a value of a collateral discounting in a single currency because in that sense you would have an exposure of a lot of currencies which first you need to convert in dollar terms and you know that market is turning very volatile and especially after Donald Trump wanted to get US out of the Paris deal a lot of action which is happening in the dollar of course on the longer term, longer tenor our view is that it's going to be a dollar bull but still only time will tell how 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 big big would be that but dollar bull dollar bull certainty is going to get happen at the same time this problem will further needs to be discussed and elaborate between all regulator and a common consensus is required what would be the curve if we have cash on the one side and if we have the securities on the on the other side this is what the purpose of this video you are always welcome to contact us www.registryconsulting.in my mobile number is 9899242978 and my skype id is rahul5327 you can email me at rahul.magan at the rate registryconsulting.in before winding up this video we would like to appraise you that we are doing a lot of training programs and we have started a lot of training programs in the murex calypso and a lot of foreign exchange derivative program in case you have any training requirements you can contact us have a wonderful time and see you soon.